in this week's videos, I'm breaking them up and we're going to address a topic or two throughout the week instead of doing one video that is long and and maybe tough to ingest. So I'm going to try to get out a couple of short videos that address the sources of identity. Stay tuned. Hey there, Dan Caton with Fathers for All. My goal on this channel is to bring a message of hope and encouragement to the community. And on this channel, we discuss issues of faith, freedom, and fatherhood. So in this week's video, what I wanna jump into is the first source of where we gather our identity from. And this source is parents and family. Without a doubt, this is the best and worst source we have in our life when it comes to our identity. From encouragement to ridicule, from strength to fear, hard work to laziness, you know, it, it, these are things that we can really gain from our upbringing and from those who are around us as we're growing up. Whether a family member is encouraging us or exceptionally hard on us, they will establish who we are as a as we grow up into a, in a, to, into adulthood, and so it's important for us as we're looking at our identity to look back at our upbringing and and look at how that influenced who we are today, or for young adults that are growing up, you know who how your parents are treating you, or how your parents are uh, talking to you in the way how do they influence your identity. Some parents are very hard working and I think they, they are very focused on uh, putting a lot of effort into uh, either growing a business or going to work every day or maybe they have a very ex intensive labor uh, job and it may require a lot of them. And so when we see that and we see how their, their work ethic in play as young adults or as young children, that it prints upon us and we in turn begin to follow in their footsteps. Or maybe it's what they say as a result of how they work. We begin to realize, okay, this is, this is what life should be like. And then there are other parents that aren't, uh, maybe, maybe they're not as hardworking or maybe they work differently and so we see that differently. So uh, our work ethic has really grown and our identity and our work ethic is brought in from our parents. So that's important to understand because it, it will inform, it, inform how we grow up essentially and, and uh, produce in the, in the world. You know, as a parent, when I'm working or watching my kids and, and interacting with them, you know, I have young children right now. I'm in those kind of glory days of parenting. I mean, this is the time where daddy can do no wrong, so to speak for the most part. <laughs> kids look, my kids look up to me as a leader, as a superhero per se, and it is kind of humbling. And at the same time, I'm trying to balance for myself the, my responses to them, how I'm encouraging them, uh, how I'm not being overly hard on them, but I also want to teach them or the right way, teach them how to behave and, and instill into them good ba behaviors and good habits. And, you know, it's, it's challenging for me, especially with my son. He is crazy. He's, he's a typical boy and that's okay. Uh, he is full of energy and he wants to climb. He wants to test his, his physical strength. He wants to jump off of things and see if he's able to to do it and that to me is exciting <laughs> sometimes sometimes it's nerve-wracking and oftentimes he'll get into a, a position and he'll look at me for sometimes he'll look at me for approval is this okay that i'm doing this that i'm testing my abilities is this okay that i'm testing and seeing what i can do and or is he looking to me to say, oh, am I getting in trouble? <laughs> so I want to encourage you and how you respond to your children. Are you encouraging them and lifting them up? Are you 
instilling in them the identity of who you want them to be or who you want them to become? Or is it something that you're, uh, do you operate out of a state of fear all the time? Oh my gosh, he's going to jump off of that and he's going to kill himself. You know, there's a, there's a certain level of that where it's like, okay, yeah, we need to be mindful that he, our kids don't kill, our, kill themselves. We need to take that into account. But at the same time, you know, do we operate so much in a state of fear that we wind up causing them to, or hampering and, and pretty much squashing any chance of them taking risks, any chance of them doing something that um, is just normal for a kid to enjoy their life and grow. So this is something that I've been wrestling with and uh, just kind of instilling identity into my children. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate you taking the time to check out the video. I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit more short and engaging so that you can enjoy the content and get on with your day. Um, I really appreciate it. If this, this video has provided any value to you, would you please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and join us next time. And until then, may you always find comfort and peace in the Father for All. Love you guys.